Hey yo, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Joker 850 x Now I'm coming to you guys today with a brand new video for Blue Dragon. Yep, this is episode three, I believe. Now I wanted to do a live reaction for this, but I realized when I was going through the files on my computer that I actually already had this pre-recorded. So I guess I recorded it during the same day that I recorded episode two and I didn't realize it. So as a continuation from that, in episode two, we were talking about um, the three main characters that we start off with. So in this video, I'm actually just going to be doing like kind of like a discussion video, so to speak. Um, when I first played through the game, I didn't watch the trailer that if you sit at the home stream for like a good minute, you um, get to see. I didn't watch that. And what I did recently was I went back and watched that. And there's so much given to us from that trailer, like on um, based on what we can expect in the game later on. Just from that trailer alone, it's so much that I could go through and dissect, and I might do that for episode four. It might just be a trailer dissection video based on um, the information we already have and based on things that we've uh, we've seen so far. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, like I said, today's video is actually just going to be a discussion video talking about Blue Dragon in general and um, what, what I really find so appealing by it. And uh, point one, well, I guess you can say uh, P1, P1, point one. This game is beautiful. It is a very beautiful game. And it came out in 2006. Now, granted, PlayStation 2 was like leading everything and everybody was just transferring over to Xbox and PlayStation. But this game was just beautiful. The graphics were smooth. The character models were smooth and sharp and crisp. The images were crisp. And even playing on the Xbox One, where graphics are even more appealing and even more beautiful, this game is just overall beautiful. It can fit in with this time frame perfectly with how beautiful and how smooth the game plays and transitions. It is really amazing. Now, granted, this game did come out in 2006. So. You have to look at it. We are in 2017. That is 11 years later. This game still looks amazing. It's a timeless game. You can play this game in probably 2020 and you still just be like, wow, this game is beautiful for 2006. Man. So uh, that'll be point one. Point two, I'm going to say I like this game because it, it gives me a nostalgic feeling. Nostalgia feeling? Nostalgic. N yeah, nostalgic feeling. I get a nostalgic feeling when I play this game. It's like, I feel, literally, I feel like a kid again. I feel like I went back in time and I'm, I'm reliving my childhood sitting on my bed playing this game. But instead, I'm, I'm sitting on the floor playing this game. Um, going through and experiencing it all over again. And like I said before, I never actually beat this game because it was so huge. And when I first bought the game, it was actually used and this too was scratched up. So I didn't get to play what was on disc too so now that i have the game um installed on my xbox one i don't have to worry about the disc messing up so i can go through this one this two and whatever and completely go through the game it is storming really bad so like i see lightning all the time and if you hear anything that's, that's rain lightning and thunder so just as a forewarning um third point i'm not gonna have i'm not i'm not gonna talk too long um, I'm just going to talk for a little bit and then I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay or whatnot. My third point is going to be the feel and fluidity and, and, and overall gameplay for this game. It is absolutely, it's just really enjoyable. It's enjoyable to play. Like the, the, the RPG system and, and um, fighting mechanics, it feels like it was crafted upon for years. And granted, this game came out in 2006. We've only had games for, um, I think, the past 30, 40, the past 30 years. 30 years tops. I'm not going to say 40. 30 years. Yeah, I'm going to say 30. Past 30 years, this game came out in 2006. And it, it feels like it was crafted to perfection almost, which is absolutely mind-blowing for something from 2006. If you find if you can find me a game from 2006 that looks as beautiful and plays as smoothly as this game, power to you. And I will most definitely have to go buy that game and play it 
Like, I might even have to go buy a 360 and play it. Because that would just be, like, mind-blowing to me. GTA 4 didn't even look this beautiful. Uh, Halo, Gears of War. None of those games looked as visually appealing to me. To me. This is my personal apparent op opinion and preference. They don't look as beautiful as this game. Like, there's not too many games you can watch the game trailer for and then play in-game and it look almost identical. There's not too many games you can do that with. Um, Final Fantasy been the only the only game I can say Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts, but those are Kingdom Hearts is on PlayStation. We don't have that on Xbox, but um, Final Fantasy we do have those. But this it's just beautiful. Um, enough of me like glamorizing the game and, and stuff like that. My my kind of um, I guess you could say faults, but you can't really fault them because the game is old. So. I'm going to give this game an 8 out of 10. An 8 out of 10. And I give it an 8 out of 10 because 1, it's timeless. 2, it's highly enjoyable to play. 3, it gives me a nostalgic feeling. And 4, the character art is drawn by Akira Toriyama. If you don't know who Akira Toriyama is, then um, I don't know what the fuck you were doing with your life. Or you're just a kid, so I apologize for cussing you out. But Akira Toriyama is the guy who... Let's go see. Illustrated and created Later. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dr. Slump, um, Majin Neko, um, what else did he create? The Dragon Boy. I, uh, uh, I believe he draws characters for Fire Emblem or uh, Dragon Later. Quest. He draws all the characters for those games and they look amazing. And growing up watching Dragon Ball and then seeing this game get a TV adaptation, it was just like extremely dope. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button, comment, and tell me what you think. And if you're interested in playing this game and want inform more information on the game and series, comment and, and ask me about that. And if you're interested in seeing more from the game, because I, I plan on doing walkthroughs for this entire game, and this is a long game, so it's something that, that can keep me like uploading consistently now that i figured out the solution to what was causing like my videos to render out all retarded and, and unusable i got my solution for that so i should be able to upload consistent now and i am extremely sorry for my inconsistencies it, it was i didn't understand what was going on with my technical difficulties and i finally got that figured out so hopefully we can upload consistently and i can record live commentary with my mic and set up my camera and everything so everything can be done right then and there and i don't have to do too much editing and tweaking like sending audio clips over to my computer to to um sync it up with gameplay or render it in with gameplay and everything we can have everything right there so if you guys enjoyed the video i'm sorry to say this again but if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit the like button comment tell me what you think and i have a one piece theory video coming out very soon um i'm gonna say monday one piece theory video coming out monday and i'm gonna be doing a lot more theory videos because they're a lot easier to do and i love one piece and there's so much you can talk about with one piece and it's just something that haven't been discussed from what i've seen in the one piece community and i'm a huge one piece fan so yeah, you guys stay tuned for that. One Piece theories, Dragon Ball theories, every... I'm going to just do anime discussions in general. My, my channel is going to be anime and gameplay and, and, and stuff like that. So, this rain is extremely loud. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But if you guys enjoy the content and you're excited for more, be sure to hit that like button. And we're approaching that 200 subscriber mark. And that is a huge milestone for me. So, I love you guys. No homo. I appreciate you guys. And as always, it is your boy Joker850X. And until the next one, we are out. Peace.